birthday party. And doesn't she look great, everybody? You don't look a day over 89. You could probably even pass for 88. <laughs> now, as you all know, we love our Nana very much. She's done so much for us since the day we were born. And today, we'd like to give a little something back. Now, I'm sure you all remember how happy it would make Nana when Grandpa would take out his ukulele and sing her a song. Well, look what I found. It's not his. <laughs> Couldn't find his, had, had to buy this one. Yeah, we're pretty sure Uncle Joe stole his. Cause he's a crackhead. <laughs> okay, so we've written a few little ditties that we'd like to sing to Nana and to all of you. Nana, you've been such an inspiration to both of us. We hope these songs inspire you, okay? <laughs> one, two, three, four. Happy birthday, Nana. We're glad that you're still here. puzzle and I almost gave up but then Nana told me to do what Jessica Fletcher would do and I solved that puzzle <laughs> and murder yeah. when I was a lesbian <laughs> Nana pointed out that it was the 90s and it was probably just a phase <laughs> and it was almost definitely a phase love you Jacob <laughs> Now, uh, Nana's personal mantra, which she has crocheted and hung in her bathroom, is where there's a will, there's a way. And that's the inspiration for this next song. Okay. One, two, three. Where there's a will, there's a way.
black dress. Well, so did I. But my dress is shorter than yours. What if they think I'm an easy time tour ready to swoop on any old gentleman that swings by my stoop? Well, my dress is longer. What if they think I'm Amish and just in town for run spring up? <laughs> Why does Tara keep trying to set us up with her friends? I don't know. I think she just wants to marry us off so we can all have children at the same time and go on cruises together. Doesn't she realize I'll never get married because I'm ugly and unlovable? Listen, if anyone's unlovable, it's me. I mean, I was just dumped 48 hours ago. Why did I agree to go on this blind date? Look, you have to put yourself back out there. You're going to be 30 soon. You're right. I am the prize. But I'm so fat. I'm a hunchback. My eyes are so close together, I look like I'm mentally challenged. <laughs> My knees are like elephant knees strapped to a woman's body. Oh, I keep growing moles. I constantly have to get checked for melanomas. <laughs> I look like a 15-year-old boy. I keep getting asked to go skateboarding, then smoke behind the school. <laughs> Listen, you're beautiful. You have a beautiful face and a beautiful soul. You look like an angel, and you always smell like freshly laundered towels. <laughs> you just had to stand on your tiptoes in order to hug me. What if they're both 5'5 five five and they think I'm a giant? Because if I don't wear heels, my calves soak into my ankles. Oh, but if you wear heels, I'll have to wear higher heels. My ankles will swell up like sausages, and I'll have to walk up in my stockings like a tramp. You know I'll always give you a piggyback ride home. I was once mistaken for Jeff Goldblum. <laughs> That's only because of your stylish, thick-framed glasses. A pregnant woman gave me her seat on the bus because she thought I was more pregnant. <laughs> I copiously sweat under one arm. Just one! <laughs> I'm being told I should be a professional Liza Minnelli impersonator. My ears are the same size they were when I was a baby, and they're still huge! <laughs> my head is too small, and I have to buy all my hats at Gymboree! My toes are longer than my fingers! I have a wrinkle for every man who never loved me! I love you! You are perfect! You're my best friend! I want to be you.
that's the sound of our dreams coming true. You say that we can follow our dreams, oh Pam, that's not a myth. I can do whatever I want, even if I have spinal biff. Forget the stupid office job, let's just walk out the door. We don't need those promotions or the Minesweeper high score. No bomb threat. <laughs> oh, 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 Laura, you didn't have to 
get me a present? It's not even my birthday. Ooh, it's chicken. Oh my God, it's a clock. It's a clock. It's a Bjorgen from Ikea. Happy birthday. You know what? I do have a bomb, and I'm gonna blow this entire city to smithereens. No, we're not. We're not ending the scene with a bomb. We're not ending the scene with a bomb. <laughs> for their dreams. We don't actually make those dreams come true. Well, then what does your organization actually do? Shh. Please donate generously. <laughs> Help Tommy dream. If you build it, they will come. Oh my god, Laura, are you finally going to build that baseball diamond you always wanted? No, I think I'm going to build a Walmart. Okay. <laughs> Ho, ho, ho! Oh, Santa? Stephanie! Why, why do you sound like a ghost? <laughs> I'm here to tell you you've been very naughty this year! But, but it's still not Christmas. If you and Jameson don't stop having loud sex on weeknights, you won't get any presents. And Karen won't get any sleep. <laughs> Karen, is that a coat hanger on your head attached to a Blue Jays rally towel? Oh, you couldn't even spring for a fucking Santa hat. <laughs>
right side? Yeah, okay. Uh, thanks. All right. <laughs> yeah, your purse is the size of my father. I... <laughs> All right. Wow, really nice. Nice to meet you. Jeez. This is clearly Pamela's side. Everyone looks like they have a birth defect. <laughs> yeah, can you imagine if her and Isaac have a baby? Wow! <laughs> well, we'll clearly be invited to the baby shower because apparently we're her best friends. I know. Why were we even invited to this wedding? Why were we invited to this wedding? I mean, we've barely spoken to her since high school. We didn't even like her then. Oh, uh, we're not your friends. Oh, uh, we kind of think you're a whore. <laughs> But you know what? I would have been so mad if we hadn't been invited. Oh, if I did not get that invitation, whore-faced bride would still be trending on Twitter. And she would not be invited to my bachelorette, which is yet to be scheduled because I don't have a boyfriend. Well, I wouldn't even invite her to my funeral. She is a piece of garbage. Though it was actually quite nice of her to invite us to this wedding. I know, I mean, we've barely spoken to her since high school. I know, we didn't even like her then. When I got the invitation... I was touched. I got her a quiz in art. I made her a quilt. Oh, that's so thoughtful. Well, it's a special day. <sighs> Can you believe they're holding this thing in a church? I mean, who has weddings in churches anymore? Yeah, especially when they're a whore. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I'm sure God was there when she banged the Batoli brothers in the bathroom at prom. <laughs> oh, look at me, I'm wearing white. Yeah, white dress to hide the semen stains. <laughs> oh, 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 look at me, I'm so holy and innocent. Oh. Fuck off! <laughs> Yet to be scheduled because I don't have a boyfriend. We'll be on a cruise ship or on a spaceship. Yeah, like a normal wedding from this century. Yeah, it'll start at 5:30. We'll all say nanu nanu, and then a drink will immediately float into your hand. I wish a drink would float into my hand. It's almost 3 p.m. and I'm still completely sober. I'm not. <laughs> it's Kirkovich family tradition to start drinking 48 hours prior to any wedding. <laughs> I thought that was your tradition for Christmas. It is. <laughs> Did you see the flowers on the altar? Oh, so pretty. Very tasteful. Pamela would make a great wedding planner. <sighs> <sighs> so, what do you want to do for the three hours between this thing and the actual dinner? Oh, uh, I know. Can you believe they decided to have this thing in Orangeville? <laughs> <laughs> At the Orangeville Church? I can't believe they called this a destination wedding. <laughs> and I don't even want to go back to that motel. It's disgusting. The Orangeville Motel. Hey, at least it's easy to find. Just take a sharp left onto Rape Alley. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and since we've been here, I've only seen one bar. It's called the Orangeville Bar. <laughs> yeah, the one with the two-for-one roofie special. <laughs> Yeah, you know what? She did this to us on purpose to torture us because she stopped drinking after meeting Isaac. Well, I didn't. Oh, look, there's her mom. Hi, Mrs. Scott! Congratulations! I like your hat! Ooh, so pretty. Very Pippa. Oh, stop! You're gonna make me cry! We are dancing to Rhythm of the Night later and you cannot say no, okay? All right, okay, congrats. We're gonna see you later. <sighs> Her mom's a whore. <laughs> well, like mother, like daughter. You know, she's only having this wedding to prove she's better than us. Well, I'm sorry that my wedding is yet to be scheduled because I don't have a boyfriend! <laughs> and have you noticed? She got that ring. She's been doing a lot more with her left hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of sweeping. A lot of pointing. A lot of yawning. A lot of eyelashes stuck in her eyes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do think she might be left-handed, though. <laughs> Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Well, she's clearly been doing more things that require hands. 
Yeah, well, you know what? She can use her left hand to write down a list of reasons of why she's better than us. Yeah, or to sign herself into a loveless marriage. Yeah, or to jerk off Isaac every birthday and Hanukkah. Yeah, <laughs> or to sign the phrase, I am a whore. <laughs> oh, great. This fucking thing is starting. <laughs> come on, get up. Come on, come on. <sighs> she looks like an angel. Just like Kate Middleton. <laughs> I'm so happy we're here. I'm so happy we're all still friends. I'm so drunk.
a difference? How? <coughs> Do you have a minute for charity? No, I'm in the middle of doing a show. So are you. So. Oh, right. <laughs>
at Yale, I went to second base with a young man I had only known for a fortnight. No. Yes. No. yes. No. Oh, my. You are a saucy harlot. I know. <laughs> and don't you tell Darren. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Rebecca, I do have another confession. Promise you won't judge me? Never. There's this man at work, and he's married. And we've been having a sexual relationship for more than a year. And his wife has just had a baby, but actually he missed the baby's birth because we were at a motel the night his wife went to the hospital. And as it turns out, she's just been diagnosed with cancer of the womb, which is ironic because I just found out I'm pregnant. And he's running for parliament. And a hot shop photographer just snapped a photo of us coming out of the travel lodge together, and I was wearing my seal skin cap, and it's a real hot mess. <laughs> Also, stop. 
start with the outside fork. Okay. <laughs> Nana, I'm so sorry that those songs we sang at your birthday party gave you a heart attack. Oh, no. I'm proud of you, my little butter stick. I've been telling you what an inspirational songwriter you were ever since you were a lesbian. <laughs> Oh, she died in a bomb blast. <laughs> Jennifer, I don't think that's true. I think it's bad to tell a lie to your nana. No, it's true. Well, that's a shame, because I've decided I'm going to die now. Well, nana, I don't think you can decide when you're going to die. Where there's a will, there's a way. Now, I put a lot of thought into what I want my last words to be, and I want to utter them to you. Okay, but Nana, I'm gonna, I'm gonna miss you so much. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Alas, even the sweetest smelling rose must one day lose its scent. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you know, that's why I never liked flowers. They're so expensive, and then you just throw them away. Oh, no, 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 Jennifer. See, my name is Rose. It's a clever play on words. Oh, look what you've done, you loaf of bread. You've ruined my death. Now I have to go with my backup. It's not nearly as good. Oh, Nana, I'm sure it's perfect. <laughs> In the candy dish of life, sometimes you reach for the last piece only to find it gone. Oh. <laughs> candies that you kept in your good living room, they were always so stuck together. Well, perhaps if you had visited your Nana more often, they would have been fresher. Oh, you've done it again, you silly slab of beef. <laughs> <laughs> Those were the only two I really liked. Yeah, they were both really good. Um, uh, <sighs> you were right about me. Tell your sister. You were right. <laughs> Nana, those are Darth Vader's last words of the of the Jedi. <laughs> I wanted to be frozen in carbonite, and you said no. Well, Nana, it doesn't matter. Because there's a giant bomb hurtling towards the theater, and we're both going to die in a huge explosion. What? Yeah, there's a giant bomb making its way towards this theater, and this whole theater's going to explode! Jennifer, I... I I'm going to die peacefully of old age, so I don't know. But don't you think dying in a giant bomb explosion really raises the stakes? <laughs> no, I think it would be a terrible way to die. <laughs> or to even end a friend show, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's too late because I've already written a song about it. I don't think your sister would approve of this. <laughs> a better rider would take the high road.
fault or it is Pamela's fault. It's her fault. She's going to die knowing she's a whore. She's a whore. And you're going to die all alone. All alone. Because I don't have a boyfriend. <laughs> Box shelters for sale. Cold bunkers for sale. <laughs> Nuclear powered cold bunkers for sale. How are we going to escape this bomb blast? Let's get into my time machine, go back to the past. Grab our chicken girlfriends and our chicken wives. The knowledge of time travel is saving our lives. Let's go back before this bomb threat ever started. Fresh Little Lex for sale, only $2.99 a carton. Damn it! Dr. Brown, on the night that I go back in time at 1.30 a.m., you will be shot by terrorists. Please take whatever precautions are necessary to prevent this terrible disaster. Your friend, Marty. <laughs> Seems I brought back the wrong letter, but at least I got the Sifty Sports Almanac. <laughs> Would he let her have won that award too soon? Who would pick Truman Jackson over my 